Hey everyone, it's Pete from Knife Up Duck. Ah, you know what, I'm not even gonna bother, I don't think. Did you record that? Hey everybody, Pete here from KnifeUp.com and today we're gonna do a quick review on the Buck Mini Iceman knife. It's a really inexpensive knife, but my question is, even at the budget price, I'm wondering if it's even worth that. Well, I'll give you my thoughts on that right now. Okay, so the Buck Mini Iceman, uh, is it worth it? Well, first of all, Buck has an excellent, excellent warranty. It's a material and workmanship for the life of the knife, which is really quite amazing. So I, uh, I appreciate that part of it for sure. Um, I like when I went to Buck's website, they've got uh, God as the senior partner of the, the company. That's awesome. Um, established in 1902. So it's, it's a pretty old company. It's the, basically a classic name in the knife industry for sure. Any of you who have been, uh, you know, following the whole knife culture for any time at all, you'll know that. So excellent, excellent company overall. Um, 420 HC steel is what the blade is made out of. HC just means high carbon. It is softer than some steels, like for example, the 440, but it's harder than a 420 uh, stainless steel. So overall, it's, it's actually not bad at all. Uh, rusting can be an issue, but I would suggest wiping it off and um, putting some oil on it or something like that. As far as how sharp it is out of the box, uh, if you can get a cut going, <laughs> it's actually pretty decent, but um, it's certainly not as good or as sharp as, yeah, see? So it cuts, it does cut pretty well, but it, it can tear as well. So it's not quite as good as uh, some of the other knives that we've been reviewing recently, but for the price, I'm not sure what you can really expect. It's actually not a bad deal for what you, uh, you're paying. It's a pretty light knife. I think it's around two and a half, two point six 2.6 ounces. And um, the, the liner lock, uh, I was a little bit surprised, uh, not so much for the price, because it makes sense, but the liner lock is pretty thin. It's about half the uh, thickness of some of the other knives we've reviewed. It's got the thumb stud for opening. Uh, I don't really have any complaints with it. It's a little bit sharp. It's got some ridges on it, but who cares? Like, it's not like you're opening it 600 times a day. Um, I'm happy with, with the general layout of that. Um, the... The first impressions overall is that it's not a bad knife, but it's not great. What it is, is a reasonable everyday carry. That's what I would say. Um, the, the jimping is not great on the back. It kind of fades away. It starts over here on the handle itself, and then it almost looks like it fades away by accident. And then it continues on the blade itself, and it becomes more substantial on the blade. So it's, it's decent. I wouldn't really comment too much about that. It's, it's reasonable. Uh, the blade itself is two and three quarter inches long. Overall length of six and five eighths inches. The handle itself is anodized aluminum with a rubber inset. So it's not like super high end, but again, for the price, it's not bad. Uh, it does have a reasonable pocket clip. The only thing is, uh, it's very aggressive, but I had a really hard time um, putting this clip onto my jeans. It was really tough. I was able to do it, but I thought that maybe I could almost even wreck the jeans. So you gotta be careful with that. There's a little bit of swedging on top of the blade, you can see there. So, I mean, it's whatever, take it or leave it. And uh, there's really no sharpening choil here either. So uh, I don't know, again, it may or may not be an issue, but just sort of laying out the facts. Uh, there's a, a bit of a lanyard hole here. It's not huge but it'll work uh, in a pinch. You can put something through there. And uh, the, the handle itself is an open pillar construction. It's got three, three pillars in, in its construction. So uh, overall, again, for what it is, it's really not a bad deal. If you don't use knives every day all the time, then I would say it's quite a reasonable everyday carry knife. That's, that's about what I would say. Um, the, the handle, I don't have big hands, but I am an adult, and my, my whole baby finger is, is off the bottom of the, the handle. So it's, it's more of a, of a kid size knife, but it is called a mini. And again, for doing little stuff that you're doing, uh, that's pretty much 
what it's good for. Just not huge, huge stuff. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's decent for making uh, tinder, for starting a fire. It's, you know, it's sharp enough for that kind of stuff and you can whittle with it and all that. So no issues uh, for overall decentness. I would say if you're looking for a similar knife to this, I would go for the Buck Iceman, not the Mini. Uh, you can find it on Amazon pretty easily, decent price. Uh, there's a link in our article on our website. That's, uh, I don't think there's anything on the video, but if you head over to our web website and you can read the full review of this and you can, um, you can see the link to Amazon to get the, uh, the, the Buck Iceman. So if this kind of information is anywhere useful to you, uh, even a little bit, we'd love it if you were to subscribe and comment. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, we look forward to our next review coming very soon. Hey everyone, Pete from KnifeUp.com. Look, a cat video! <laughs> no, really, the reason I'm doing this is just because I have like 10 cats right around my ankles. So, a distraction, yes, but I digress. Let's get on with it. That thing is loud. Yeah.